Hi guys, I'm Sarah. I'm Melissa. Juanita. And we're here reacting to episode 9, La Grande... I already forgot it, sorry. What show are we watching? Oh yeah, we're reacting to Riverdale, episode 9. That's, we don't need to know the name. Yeah. La Grande Illusion. Right, La Grande Illusion. So, quick update, Polly is with the Blossoms, which the blooms according the, to Sarah. The, the blossoms. I'll get it. I'll I'll eventually get the names right. But yeah, uh, she. I think it was a very poor decision. I think whatever happens to her at this point at the blossoms, you know, that's all on her. Honestly, I mean, she made that bad choice, and she has to deal with the consequences. She made her bed, so she'll die. In it. Yeah, it's. I mean, I understand why she made that decision. I just don't agree with it. So my mom said, you go with the evil you know. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. And like, this is actually the first time we've seen like really Polly make a decision. You know? She's been kind of like- Well, she made the decision to keep her baby. Right. She made the decision to run away. Okay. So, but like, Seeing it is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Well, one that hasn't, like, one that hasn't happened yet. Like, she already made those, sh like, decisions prior to the show. Okay. So, like, yeah. And I've been seeing her as the victim most of the time, so now, like, that's over with. I'm just like, alright, Polly, let's see what you could do. Uh, but that's it. You guys have anything to add? No. All right, let's watch this episode. More precious than oil. Your nails big business. Is made of zero. Since the town's founding, one is family has died. This is so over dramatic. We're a part of the fabric of our daily lives. <laughs> Rich or poor, old or young. Play on. She looks like she's in a 70s sitcom. Did you know the, the, the official she show does. of Nicole Therese? Like, she looks like Jackie. Nice. With Donna's hair. That yeah. or, or <laughs> Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Yeah, we're going to go for tunes. A tradition that honors the Blossom bloodline. Our heritage. All this That's crap cool. about okay. bloodlines. Yeah. It's also <sighs> incredibly exclusive. Family names. And your circle only. Want to be my thing? And this is how he's gonna he's fuck up his relationship with Valerie. We could walk. Oh, all right, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Great. He just gets roped into yeah. everything. <laughs> this is the Veronica I love, though, that sees someone who's hurting and wants to help them. Someone was a cry for help if I ever heard one. The likes of which I vowed never to ignore. Not after. Apparently, not for a talent like you. Bribery. I put in a word on your behalf. Mrs. Blocken. At Jason's memorial, he brought me to Ball Jersey. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mrs. Blocken. They make you seem like it's been that long ago. It was like two episodes ago. There was a, there was a two week break in between. I that. guess. <laughs> On a day of despair. You're good and decent, Archibald, and like most people in this town. What do they mm -hmm. want him to be their heir? Is this what they're trying to do? Maybe he'll marry he's, right, marry Cheryl. Cheryl and then become it's the heir. It's weird. He's like a stand-in Jason, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, here's Polly, pregnant and unwed. It's no wonder they descended upon us like some biblical plague. Look at the red accents. She's wearing a little red riding hoe dress right now. It's snowing. Out of nowhere. I would not put it past the Blossoms to hire a snow machine so they could have extra dramatic snow. Look, being ruined sucks. I don't know, something feels off about this whole situation. Am I wrong? Time will tell. No, I feel you. Uh, oh, that tears come. We lost the third G. One of my grandpa man friend came over. Mugs. Archibald, come join us before the snow starts again. No. Oh. Archibald. Because he looks like them. Look. Yeah. It's so bizarre. It's really Who weird. are those two on the end? I need to know more about those two. How much you want to bet those I two are the lungs? I 
why would you call her email her? She fought for you, Polly, and now you're treating her like she's the enemy. Polly, come along. You saw them talking, bitch. Tell Betty that she shouldn't worry, okay? You could have Clifford didn't send us thugs. Hiram did. At least she's- But we're trying to turn it legitimate. You found out about you and me from Clifford. You have dragged me into a war between Hiram and Clifford. That's great. I know mm. you're angry. He's gonna be a casualty. Don't make me think he's gonna die. <laughs> the internet's already murmuring. You jump ship. I can't start over with someone else. Of course, Archie's gonna stay with Junk. Hey, Junk has his nowhere to stay. Pot shots at me and you're playing both sides. Tell us about Polly. How is she? Did you see So many families just using Archie. I don't think she's coming back. She is aggressively cutting this piece of pie with that sharp ass knife. Not Polly. She made her choice. We have to learn to live with that. No, I know my sister. She wouldn't do that to us. Something else is going on. What else did you see, Archie? When you were in the sticky red thing. Can we have a word? I like the joke, it's like, yeah. Got her, my vixen. Right behind you. Isn't she on the vixens? What? What is it? Polly. Look, I don't know what kind of Stockholm Syndrome <laughs> you cast on her, but I want to talk to my sister. Let's not fight. Especially not when we should be celebrating. Why? What happened? Haven't you heard? Dr. Patel just confirmed it this morning. Polly is having twins. Bless her blossom jeans. And she didn't call to tell me. If I remember. Cheryl. That was a joke, you hobo. <laughs> of course, I'll give her your message, Betty. <laughs> no promises that she'll care I'm or so... Okay, not the shirt. I like that she has to go through the Honestly, middle. Honestly, <laughs> they're wearing compliment. They're wearing matching colors. I can't. What is happening? I was purging my closet, thinking how you would look magnificent in some of these. Here. Brenna was like, I feel real shit, so let's try and be nice. I mean, I know how clothing was. This is so nice. Yeah, like, right? <laughs> That's what exactly I what know I'm that okay, these are like accessories. Adidas. These are things I don't want. Okay, what oh, you give them to me for? I can't fit them. <laughs> Unless it's what, a couple things we can. Like, I had a pair of jeans, so I was like, Sarah, put these on. She was like, ah, oh, they fit me. I guess that's where he's living. Is she gonna break this door or what? something? Oh, no. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I like her. I want my daughter back, you bastard! Oh! Jesus Christ. How did I know? Like, Mom! <laughs> Mom! Betty's just like, why am I in this crazy family? Why me? <laughs> Everyone is so I mean, unstable. I mean, granted, now we know where that whole maple syrup dominatrix wig thing came from. <laughs> In episode three, her mom. <laughs> ten out of ten, mom. I mean, her mom's just like, I want my kid. I know, I don't blame her. You don't have something like that for me, and I don't believe so. They're like, you're the <laughs> son we wish we had. I mean, Jesus. You know, I you treating him. We've we already called the Brandenburg Music Academy, and they're very excited to meet you, by the way. Uh -huh, that's a no. Let's just get through this banquet, all right? Sit down man to man and discuss what Fuck we can no. do. Fuck no. That was a nice way of saying hell no. <laughs> Is it satisfactory? Kid. No, but her dad did. He accidentally saw the whole box. Oh. Accidentally? No. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Veronica, this is not your fault. This is your shitty parents' fault. Why you didn't oh! Jail. Oh man, I was just saying, just pick them up. <laughs> Those are expensive. She can't stand what her parents are doing. And I don't want her to try and rescue me. You're pregnant, bitch. What about me? Right? No, I'm not. I'm not. Excuse me. Oh, right. No, you need to talk to Polly some more. I'm so sorry. I wish I could do something. Sorry isn't good enough. How are you gonna blame this sixteen-year-old? You old, you old ugly bitch! Lives. He deserves to sit behind bars for the rest of his miserable life. I mean, Veronica agrees, for the most part here. And right now, she's our woman on the end. Okay, it's just like I'll put my hand on this chair. That's moral support for four way. 
a blue and gold. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Remember that's at the high school newspaper? I love it. I'm dying. Okay, I'm pretty sure that our annual operating budget is bigger than the registers. Oh shit. Shit! <laughs> that is so That's much. kind of impressive for a high school? After last night, I'm done with the boss. I am. Good for you, Archie. I'm done with you. Oh. Ever since we started dating, you've ignored me. You ditched me. Val, please. Is there an... Let me okay, I thought I was completely... Sorry, Archie, but unlike you, I won't be boss. Yeah, I'm going after what the blossoms value most. My family. Their legacy. Mm. Have to put him on the board. Yes. Opponent. Don't let Veronica into this office anytime soon. Oh no, she's all right now. I mean, she knows her father's a dipshit. At least we're adding to the murder board now. We've only got a couple more episodes before the finale. I'd like to know who killed Jason. Um, it's supposed to be Jughead's birthday in the next episode. It looks like everyone's having more fun than Jughead. <laughs> I mean, that happens sometimes. That's happened to me before. We it's hear his a party and yeah. someone else is having it. But it's his party and he'll go hide in the closet if he wants to. But honestly, why would Jughead have that kind of party? It's not him. Um, Archie said, I'm going to give you a party whether you like it or not. So Jughead's like, yeah, that's not his kind of party. Archie. Jughead's, so like, Archie's like, ah. Jughead's like, I've seen what alcohol has done to my family. I would not like to be involved with that. Thank you very much. And yeah, thank you very little. <laughs> okay, I want to back up to like when okay remember when they said like with the whole you know um little journal thing? <laughs> <laughs> the the journal thing and how like um it was gonna bite them in the ass one day yeah yeah is that coming i mean like season two <laughs> like that's what i thought what was gonna happen with ethel yeah i bet you won't learn who killed jason until like season five if, oh, if could you good. imagine? Please. I can't do that. I'm not sure I would continue again. <laughs> like the most I could take is midway season two. Yeah. All right. No, I feel like we should know by the end of the season, but not the person not necessarily be arrested. Fair on the loose. Yeah. Or like we know, but no, we don't. They have don't know. They don't know. Okay. Right. Like. Okay. What if the last episode is just a flashback so to that night? That day. The, to like. That July week, like, cause Jason didn't die till a week after. So, like, what, what if it what follows time? like that week? <sighs> food for your food. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So that'd be interesting if like somebody put together all these flashbacks that we're seeing and like put it in like chronological order, like how it mm -hmm. went. What where Veronica was, what Betty was doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Veronica was making someone drink gutter water. Um, the level of disrespect <laughs> like far too much. <laughs> like, that's over so many gutter lines. Water. Gutter water. I wouldn't even touch that. We don't even freaking drink unfiltered water. <laughs> right? <laughs> We're bougie that way, but like, come on. Then again, the water at our school is like, not it's great. It's not anyway, so yeah. But, but at home, I don't... Everything, everything in my house is filtered. The sink water is filtered. The fridge, water, every fucking faucet is filtered. filtered. That's how crazy my grandmother is. She's not crazy. <laughs> Cut her water, Veronica. You got some sins to pay for. Well, she's worth paying right now. She is. She is. <laughs> but poor like, poor girl. Oh, that was. I loved that she tore off those pearls. I thought she was gonna keep those pearls for good. You know, like. I mean, I would have. But like, I mean, I could hate you, but still keep the gifts from you. I don't, I don't know. That's me. I think I, that's, I really thought mm -hmm. like the pearls are like a were like a collar almost. Well, it's a really interesting thing because if you remember in some of the Riverdale promos, the pearls were like coming around and choking her around her neck. Was it her or sure? No, no, it was her because no, she wears the pearls. Around. Yeah, yeah. So that was like a that's really cool. Like a collar that she had from her father, and now what are we gonna meet on? I don't know. Probably season two. I was about Probably. to say conjugal visit, but no. A lot of things were set straight that I was happy with. Like the whole Hermione and Fred thing, that wasn't okay with me. Um, so I'm glad that like he cut that off, but he was like, all right, but I want my share and- I want more than the share you were he's, like, Yeah, he's yeah. like, I'm tired of being a pawn for all you Cause mofos. That's basically what around. he's been like this whole entire time. Like just this like guy who's just be constantly being lied to, constantly just being pushed around, being beaten up, and like getting his employees taken away. It's Sarah just, needs like, her drink so she can so she can <laughs> sip. 
Yeah. 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 So yeah. Well, then we found. Wait, what happened? Polly. Polly. She thinks they killed Jason. Or I they had a hand in. They, I kind of feel like they didn't because they needed him to control the company because they could essentially control him. They might have had a hand in the fact that their asshole-ish, underhanded stuff led to his death. Okay. You know? Because we have the thread now that maybe Hiram Lodge was involved. He could have killed them to get back at because, him. Because, yeah. Because getting him in prison. Because there's all these feuds going on right now. We have the Lodges and the Blossoms, the Coopers and the Blossoms. The Coopers and the Coopers. <laughs> The Andrews and in, in the Blossoms, the, the Andrews and now the Lodges even. I mean, that's a conflict well, right there. They're like frenemies right now. They're like we're on the same side, but like they're you just also did business me dirty. Partners, yeah. They're business partners. They're they're no longer friends. They've downgraded to acquaintances. It's a rough road. Okay, the Blossoms are so intense on the stupidest shit. <laughs> Like putting a spout in the tree. Well, that's how you get maple. Right? I know, but well, like, like, why was it like betting an everything on that? Was, they made it like an ancient ritual. It could have been yes. for them, but like, but yeah, you know, they sure. had like <laughs> casts of where wine should be. <laughs> they had full of maple syrup. Glasses, all of them. Oh, cheers! cheers. And then oh, you yes. drink this thick ass <laughs> syrup. <laughs> You know how thick maple syrup is. Come on. It makes me think of Elf and Pudge. just put maple syrup. Yes. And how, like, think of how sickly sweet pure maple syrup is. And Cheryl's just like, yes, my lipstick is maple red. Girl. Imagine having lipstick like that. You just keep looking at your lips all day. I feel like it would be gone within the first hour. <laughs> no. My mom used to have one that, like, tasted like berries, and I used to put it on all the time, and I'd just, like, lick it off. <laughs> really taste it? It tasted. Because I always had those smells, but I'd lick it and be like, oh. No, it you tasted. Know? And I just, like, I would, like, put it on, and it'd just be like, How old were you? I was, like, ten or less. <laughs> I was hoping you weren't going to say 16. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's why I had to ask to make sure. I was probably, like, eight years old. Okay. All right. Um, oh, poor Veronica. Oh, no, oh. no, Valerie, I meant. But Valerie. poor Veronica. <laughs> yeah. Po poor the bees. The bees. Bees. The bees are think, having a hard time today. This, this episode. I think Valerie did the right thing in getting out because, like, I, I mean, yeah, Archie didn't like do the like. It wasn't like the worst thing in the world, but again, he wasn't treating her like a, a girlfriend. girlfriend. Like she said, he's been ignoring her. We haven't seen that bitch. Again, yeah. We saw one scene of her. The, yeah, earlier where he just took her out to the... the, the I, guess, her I guess the reason that they had her in the last episode then kind of showed, like, him just kind of using her when he needs her. And then, like, saying, okay, bye, I don't really need your advice anymore, even if I'm not going to take it. Here's my thing. Archie has a lot of people he knows, and I think he do, he doesn't know how to balance all these people. And I think that's his problem, is that... He has too many people in his social circle and he doesn't know who to give the right attention. Like this episode he was completely distracted by Cheryl. Yeah. And like not hanging out with any of his other friends. I mean he was with Joe Kevin. Well, scenes, yeah. but like I think you he's, know, he's, Joe he's definitely learning. learning. He's exactly. definitely learning. He's like repairing his relationship with Jughead. He just he doesn't know how to balance. Like, Jughead, you see Jughead with Archie, you see Jughead with Betty, you see Jughead just, like, around. But, like, that's a part of growing up, you mm -hmm. know? You learn how to, like, balance those people. So, it's like, it was a lesson, you know, for him. Like, break, Valerie breaking up with him, it was just, like, note to self, don't ignore your girlfriend. You know? Oh, sure. I just think that, but like, would you it's have, something. Would he have ignored Mrs. Grundy? Would he have ignored if he was with Veronica or someone else is the question. Actually, this is interesting, because I saw a couple comic pages where, like, him and Betty were supposed to be going out and like, but Veronica called me and said we had made something like two weeks ago, apparently. And he's just like, sorry, Betty. And Betty was like, you know what? No, screw you. We're d I'm done. I can't deal with you no more. And Verka was just like, mm, Archie, you screwed that up. <laughs> but like, that's Jughead ten nine out of ten times. But honestly, Archie has so much going on that I don't like... I mean, it was stupid to ignore Valerie, but at the same time, I don't, like, I understand why he did, just because he's mm -hmm. got so much going on. I feel like he, 
Again, he can't juggle things. So, like, he should just deal with he the shit that he's got. Right. He should deal with the shit he's got. Like, stop with his dating stuff. You obviously cannot help yourself in <laughs> any know. area. Yeah, yeah. So, like, deal with your music and your football, you little Troy Bolton. And then, like, uh, go, like, and deal with your friends. Figure out how to treat your how to treat your friends before you even, like, go and get a girlfriend. You know what I also think it is? Like, after his... Grundy thing, he really should have like not taken a break. Yeah, because exactly. there's like some kind of trauma a little bit that yes. goes with that. I guess Valerie was a little bit of like a rebound for him to have like a more stable relationship, like in an appropriate age range. Age, age range. Age range. <laughs> but it's just mm. he. I think Archie just needs to like not be romantically involved with anyone for the moment. Just take a step back. Concentrate on him. Learn how to be a balanced friend, a balanced person for the most part. Because he's, we all know Archie's good at heart. He's just got to learn he some tries. things. He tries. No, I was just saying, Veronica and dealing with her parents and having to deal with, I guess before, I guess she kind of knew, but you know what? It's not in your face about like what someone is doing. You like, yeah. oh, okay. She, so now she sees firsthand that she has a friend that it's affecting. Her parents' type of business. Right. And Hermione yeah. doesn't seem to have a problem with it until Fred broke up with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think Veronica saw the fallout to, like, outsiders. Mm -hmm. And that her dad really did cause harm. Like, she knew it in her mind, like you said. Yeah. She just hadn't seen it yet. But I'm very proud of her for trying to... Um, be the bigger person in this situation and be like, you know what? My parents were wrong. Mm -hmm. This is not okay. And I'm not going to stand by it. And I have to say what's what because that's the right thing to do. And I really appreciate that. And that's the Veronica I really enjoy watching. I, I like what Veronica is doing, but the only thing that bothers me about her is the things. That she throws at people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like because the spa at, like, treatment right, and going like to what Ethel said. She's like, I just want you to be my friend. I don't need all this. Well, maybe she doesn't know that. That's right. what, so, like, yeah. I want her to learn that, like, that's not how to be a friend. I think that's what Veronica's trying to learn. Because she said it herself. Anytime my dad did something wrong, he got me gifts. That's what she knows. Right. So that's what she knows, and that's how she th You know what? She does go and apologize, but then she also tries to... Bring a gift. Soothe it over even more by like giving people things. Oh, and I like that she didn't approach Ethel after she found out that her father was the cause. You see what I mean? She gave her the flowers and said, I'm no, alive. No, no, no. I'm saying like beforehand. Like she tried to help Ethel before she knew before that she even knew yeah, yeah, a okay, problem. Okay. When yeah. she just knew that there was something wrong with Ethel. Right. What? Okay. Right. okay, yeah. So we know it's not just like, oh, I feel really guilty kind of thing. She actually tried to help Ethel in like a friendly, friend-ish way. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should also talk about while that whole family situation is going on, oh, the Coopers. Oh, God. Oh, I fucking just have knew so much. she couldn't just walk away. That woman? Oh. I mean, she's a fantastic character. She's a very complicated, complex, strong, but like vulnerable at the same time woman. And that's like a great character to see. Uh, once again, actress is great. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's nice to see a little bit of like the underside of Alice Cooper and see that she's not just stone cold. She really feels things in that she... Sh I could yeah. figure her name was Annie in my head. I'm yeah. <laughs> poor Betty is trying to just keep everything together, and she's, like, breaking down. And then poor Jughead trying to keep Betty together, because she's oh trying to keep everybody together. God, yeah. You know what? I think it's Jughead has a little perspective on the situation, because his family's already kind of broken apart at the moment, you know? And he's still, like, I, I, he's just, like, I hope one day we could get back together, but he doesn't think it's possible, but he's, like... It's not going to happen to you, Betty. And if it does, you're strong. You're stronger than all of them, and you can do this. And that's a really nice relationship. And I like that after that, they just, like, hugged it out and didn't, like, kiss and make it inherently, like, a romantic. It's like, I'm your comfort because we're both feeling things, right? Now. There were lots of hugs this episode. Lots of people were feeling lots of things. Yeah. My question was, where was Nana Rose during all that <laughs> family debacle? Right? They probably just like left her in a bathroom. <laughs> They're like, oh, a bathroom? She couldn't even get a room. <laughs> she had to be. Like, you don't eat where you shit, Sarah. Well, like they're like, oh, I, I don't want. To make, I don't want to make any 
like stereotypes of like older people. <laughs> but like, you just did Nana Rose so dirty. <laughs> She's gonna come to it right? in your sleep. Nana Rose <laughs> is a delight. <laughs> I just think it's so funny that they just like wheel her somewhere and just leave her. Like she's got like no like <laughs> also I mean, when they went to the baby shower they just left her at this food table. Like you know what I mean? Small things they left her behind a door during Jason's funeral. Like <laughs> No, that's probably like one of the, the maids you fucking bitch. I'm gonna put your I'm gonna put your ass behind the door. I mean, but you know that they put her up there because like how'd she get up the stairs? They have to have an elevator. No. Or a ramp. They probably like Big houses like that have elevators. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. Can I almost <laughs> Really? Um, Nana Rose is also right about twins. For the love real of life gypsy? Witch. <laughs> Witch. Okay. I'm sorry I'm forgetting your name, but there was someone in her comment that was like, Yeah, they've we'll been dropping little here. little occult hints and like with the Nana Rose thing that only gives more like maybe there's something a little more um underneath. A little less um mortal realistic going on and a little more occult mm. supernatural going on that's what i'm looking for like and sarah. hopefully sabrina for season two sarah has the biggest blister on her foot i've seen oh uh, it hurts so bad like i cut Can you my see that disgusting mm -hmm. thing? it hurts it's not a blister it's a oh no my God. on the other in the back of your big toe oh yeah i whoa 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 since we're talking about cheryl where the fuck is josie we see I'm, the gallery I'm, more than we see I Josie. I thought she was supposed to be a main character, too. Is she not a main character? Am I wrong? She's like, is this a supporting character. Like, I mean, Valerie okay. has ma more appearances than Josie does. The main characters are Jughead, Archie, Betty, and Veronica, and then everyone else is, like, and then Cheryl, Josie, I guess you can have Valerie in there, too, Reggie, Kevin, are, like, supporting main characters. We see the other supporting we see Kevin every episode. Yes. At least in the background or like uh, invited Maybe she was doing to other like, stuff. I don't know. Anywhere. So. <laughs> okay, back to Cheryl. Sorry. Back to okay. Cheryl. Full on mean girl this episode. Cheryl, I don't know what's like I know she's not mentally sound. Like, I know this. Because you can't <laughs> do anyone? the shit she does <laughs> and be mentally sound. Like but I, I don't like, it's weird because like I know she's not like mentally all there, but at the same time I don't like her parents calling her a train wreck, even though she kind of is. Like, them some big words. I like, I, I don't know what to do with her. Like, I don't know if like she's always in cahoots with her parents. Like, I, I don't think she is. No. She probably only knows, only knows half, not whole. Right. I feel like she almost doesn't want to know. She just wants to stay in her high school bubble. But when Jason died, she couldn't stay in her high school bubble. So now she's dealing with the consequences. So now she hates Archie because she didn't he do said what no he said. to becoming what? The heir? Because, let, let's be real, the Blossoms were using him. Completely. And Cheryl, Cheryl was using, using him. She was. And she's like, you're just like, the rest of them are using him. And then he's like, uh, girl, no, I'm not doing this. I can't. <laughs> and, then it just proved, and then it really just proved that, guess what? He wasn't actually like them. And she didn't... couldn't handle that. She couldn't handle she someone were saying no to her. Scratch out his name. Scratch out Paul's name. You're all the Their same. Their faces. This is big. Sorry. Where's, I, like, where, she better pull out her burn book one day, just be like, She's, she just writes down everything mean because she's upset at everyone. She probably has some stuff in there about herself. But I'm surprised that, I'm kind of surprised she scratched out Polly's face. She probably knows Polly isn't there to for them. She doesn't trust Polly. She's like, I just want the babies. I want Jason's babies. <laughs> no, stop. Uh, they are. They are his babies and she is very into that. They're having twins. You know people like incest? What? There's people that like like reading about incest, like watching about. I mean, for sure, it's an interesting topic in fiction. I guess I don't even like it in fictional form. No, no, no. I'm not I saying mean, we like people, it. A lot of people like flowers in the attic. That was a twisted book. I mean, I read it. I'm not saying like it's the best literature I mean, I ever. It, did I be like yes? No. 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 If you watch it, you're like, this is awful. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. No, that was you. I was like, this is awful. I'm going to go on the room. Tell me how it ends. 
I'm God, like, this is all. I'm like, this is intriguingly not Even with Game of Thrones, whenever those two start fucking, I'm like, Cersei and Jamie, <laughs> some people are really into that. I'm like, they're so far. Are they done yet? Look at the Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm like, if it's a fantasy world, I can understand Cousins, because that's like how it was. Fictional. I don't I can understand. Fictional. I can understand, because that's how it used to be, but, like, I don't like it. I know. I don't even, like, go to history class. I'm like, yeah, yeah, so-and-so married their cousin, because I'd be like, don't like you in history. <laughs> <laughs> like, even in the Bible, like, they marry, like, you know, relatives, and I'd be like, is wasn't Sarah and her casual, like, yes. Yeah. And freaking um, Rachel was uh, Jacob's cut. Mm. And Leah, <laughs> none of it. I accept none. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So she, it would be even creepier if she actually like circled the stomach. Stop it! No. <laughs> Someone like, Photoshop that. I'm gonna. Do it. <laughs> but Sarah, you're just disgusting. I'm sorry. You're, not, you're just gonna sleep funny. with Alyssa's room tonight. We're on the I floor. <laughs> I like, I don't, it's like, ever since, me. like, Alyssa even, like, it told me about Flowers in the Attic, like, I didn't even, I you, haven't seen the movie. But you like that movie, seen... Crimson Peak. That was incesty. Okay, that was insane, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the, so it's it Flowers in really, the Attic. It felt like I liked the pairing. <laughs> and I liked the movie, but not the pairing. That was some crazy shit. Look, incest is a theme in, like, a, a lot of B.C. Andrews work, okay? So if you're gonna get into reading her stuff, there's a lot of that. I, I I've only read Flowers in the Attic, but I just know, like, in a lot of her stuff. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Cheryl, she, she probably just wants the children. I, if Betty has a boy, Polly. I'm pulling a Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's called now when I give the character the wrong name. I'm pulling a Sarah. <laughs> yeah, just... Just call him quinoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Chick was supposed to be the third sibling, right? The oldest, I think. The so oldest. Said, yeah. You know, and some people were saying, oh, they'll name the baby Chick. You know? <laughs> well, it seems like <laughs> he... I'm thinking of popcorn chicken. <laughs> well, it seemed like his corn was popularly. What? You? What the fuck? What? <laughs> She was forced into an oh, abortion. Did you get that? Yes, I did. That's so sad. Oh, that's not right. I never see. It's not right, but it's okay. We yeah. It's a good thing we're getting a break from each other. Oh, that reminds me. I meant to say it in the beginning, but I didn't. Okay, so next week we have spring break, and we're all going um, separate places. Separate places. So. We won't be together for Riverdale, but we will be watching it um, together. So it'll probably be up um, next Tuesday. Tuesday. The hope. Next Tuesday, we're hoping. Um, well, just like because Tuesday, the Tuesday after. The Tuesday after. We also like even if like it was just two of us, it's not as much. I mean, fun with Riverdale, but like, yeah. So you'll see all three of us, and we'll be posting it Tuesday. Um, but yeah. I, need to say I can't about believe that. you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I know it was real bad. Every month you just say something. I just go, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> That's well, you do it too. <laughs> but yours is like psychologically. <laughs> psychologically what? <laughs> no, but think about what you said. It's a I know. Scarring. <laughs> I guess it was a little scarring. <laughs> it was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So would you guys <laughs> hold? <laughs> hold on. I have a question. <laughs> What? Uh, I can't. Do would this. you guys be okay with a uh, an Archie and Cheryl pairing later? I don't care. It would Archie's have to be with. like season eight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. care who Archie's with. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we're gonna see you next Tuesday. Tuesday. Next next Tuesday. So not next Tuesday, but next next Tuesday. And uh, comment. Like, subscribe, tell us what you thought, any theories about this episode, anything we missed, let us know because we generally read them and we're like, oh yeah. Yes. Also follow us on Twitter. We have a poll up right now because um, we think of doing some non-reaction videos and we want to know what you guys think. Yeah. Like, what do you want to watch? We don't just want to put up shit and be like, I don't like, just tell us what you want to see. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can go uh, answer that poll on our Twitter at We Don't Sugarcoat 
And um, we'll see you for the next Riverdale episode. Yes. Peace. Peace. You're my arms.